Welcome back to the channel guys. This is part 4 of our house edition series. In part 1 we poured the footing. In part 2 we finished our block foundation. In part 3 we finished our subfloor. And now we're going to finish the trusses. Thanks for watching. Here we go. So in the last video we showed getting the subfloor done. Now we're starting to frame the second floor. Of course Willow is still a big help around the site. So on the back of my truck I have a load of styrofoam uh, with the trusses uh, being a little delayed I thought we'd get a head start on pouring the, the floor for the garage. So you can see I have the scaffold there and on the left hand side there's all the mesh to go on the floor. We needed to get the utilities out to the garage which included the water, the septic, the electrical and the in-floor. So we decided to go through the wall right here of the house. That leads into the basement. That wall, it's about two feet thick of field stone. So that was a couple hours of pounding through it with the sledgehammer and the crowbar. There you can see the window that is going to be turned into the doorway. That will allow access to the garage from the house. And then directly above that, there's another window that will allow access from the house to the top of the living space. So building the house comes with its few mistakes. Here I framed a, a window up incorrectly so um, I got a little trigger happy with the air nailer but uh, of course now I gotta go rip it all apart and move it out a little bit but that's the joys of uh, building and designing as you go. So now you can see we've got a little storm blowing in but starting to get some of the second floor framed up. The back wall it's an eight foot wall and the front wall is only a five foot wall uh, this will make uh, an interesting roof pitch so here you can see we got all the insulation down and then there's a mesh on top with the pex pipe zip tied to it that's the in-floor heating so that's a half inch uh, pex tube uh, there's three loops for the garage you can see them straight back there uh, so they pop out of the floor so later that's where all the hot water is going to go for it um, so that'll be all the heating for the garage and here you can see I had the floor poured uh, and finished by a crew. This was a huge time saver. They had all the material uh, or the tools to do it and, uh, and the labor to do it. So that was well worth it. Um, they did an amazing job. So just a local guy that came in and did it. And, uh, and there you can see it's curing. That'd be the second day after, uh, after it's poured, but super smooth. Uh, very happy with that. So like I mentioned earlier, trusses, uh, they were a little more delayed. Um, that gave me some time to start doing some of the f finishing on the first floor. So here I am trimming out the garage door openings. Um, this is something I've done before uh, on the on the old house. I did all the, the trim and all the flashing. Um, I never know if I'm doing it the actual proper way, but uh, it seems to seems to work. You buy a roll of flat stock uh, in town so you roll out the sheet and then uh, bend it with this break here so this break is 10 feet long so I can bend up to 10 foot pieces which works out good for the garage doors um, as the top pieces are just over 9 feet so there you can see I put the flat stock in set it to my measurements and then bend the profile and then that right there goes over the wood for the garage door and caps it out nicely so it was great to see the trusses finally show up they were about a week early, which was awesome. We were ready to get straight to work. Jillian and I were able to get two trusses up that night to get them up all straight and square. And then we were able to rent a telehandler from a local uh, rental supply company. Um, and that made putting trusses up a breeze. And this was a 45 foot reach, uh, 1500 pound capacity all the way out. So that was no problem to put these trusses up. Um, Everything went super quick for that weekend. So any videos we got um, are all very quick, all short videos. Um, but like I say, we were we were right to work. So here I am nailing the dormer together, and uh, you can see it's installed there. And there's there's Jillian supervising. And you can see there's the roof line. 
once we get all the sheathing on you can see the lift there to hoist all the sheathing up i think that was uh that was all done on that one weekend it was the trusses and sheathing were all installed and uh, the neighbors came out to help out it was it was really great so here you can see the cathedral ceiling inside starting to get all the sheathing on the walls and get the end walls framed i framed them in place just with the pitch of the cathedral ceiling that the windows framed in and here's the the front window so this is just a picture window it's a fixed picture window uh, overlooking the driveway so we have a pretty nice view out the front so we're really excited for that so i want to wrap this video up here all of the exterior framing is done so we're going to get ready to start cladding everything uh you'll see a steel roof going up we have some stonework going on uh there's a little bit of vinyl siding uh we gotta get some windows and doors in there and those videos will be coming up shortly thanks for watching